Rather Good Coaching presents. Hello, I'm Karen Adams of Rather Good Limited, and today I want to talk to you about positive intentions. The thing is with most people, at least so I believe, they really mean well. They want nice things to happen in the world, mostly for them, but basically pretty much for everybody else as well. They like making other people feel good because other people smiling at them feels good. I know it works for me. My husband actually finds that, you know those speed camera things when they have the smiley or the frowny faces? My husband definitely slows down a little bit more so he can get the smiley face. He really likes the smiley faces. So there, a little thing that we all like to feel that we're making other people happy, or most of us do. And with this in mind, it actually doesn't make a great deal of sense to assume anything other than positive intentions behind most people's actions. Most people, most of the time, want most people to feel good. Want the world to be a lovely place full of sunshine and rainbows. At least in the right sort of moderation that's going to keep us all healthy and so on and so forth. So, positive intentions. Worth assuming. And smiling at people makes us feel good. And saying things to other people that make them smile, if they smile, makes us feel good, so it's worthwhile doing it. And if most people think that way, which in my experience they do, then the world becomes a better place. One thing I have noticed is that being the sort of person who goes around and smiles at people, more people tend to smile at me. So honestly, if I want the world to be a nicer place, then I can just go out there and ham-fistedly smile my way into making people want to be a bit happier. It may not last very long, but at least they've had one positive interaction of the day in which some mad woman smiled at them on the street. And why not? If it's little things like that that can make a, such a big difference, even from someone you don't know, and goodness knows it's worked on me in the past, then we can actually imagine the difference that that could make to someone we know and like, someone we work with. When someone's having a difficult day, actually just being there for them and saying that you're there for them and acknowledging that they're having a crap day that can be amazingly powerful. If a smile from a stranger can be powerful, imagine how much something could mean if they really know who you are and how powerful what you say and do could be then. I find that really interesting. And it's really interesting to realise how on a general basis, on a day-to-day -day basis, how much influence we can have on people who are just around us in our vague sphere of influence and how making ourselves feel better can work to make other people feel better and vice versa. Basically, positive intentions help us. What was it they say? Help those who help themselves? We can help ourselves by smiling so we feel better and get other people to smile at us that makes us feel better and everyone is a bit happier, which makes everyone feel better. So try it. Smile at some strangers. I'll be honest, I used to do this when I was working in Canary Wharf, and um, this is probably one of the rare occasions when it didn't always go down quite as well as I might have hoped. They really did think I was a bit mad when I was smiling at people at six or seven o'clock in the morning. It didn't, it didn't always work quite as well as I might have hoped. That said, I felt pretty happy. Well, actually, I was more chortling to myself by the time I got to work. But, you know, ultimately, some days we can just take it that way. So have fun. Try it. Smile at some people. Enjoy yourself. Laugh if you must. And let me know how you get on. Stick something in the comments below or contact me at rathergoodcoaching.com. Take care. Cheerio.